Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can scale the map in uh, 3D Studio Max as you can see in this example. So without wasting your time, let's, uh, let's see how we can do that. First, I'll open the material editor. In the material editor, let's take this uh, checker map. And the checker map, I'm going to apply to all three of these cubes. So simply can drag, show standard material viewports, and then drag this material onto these three cubes. Let's close the material editor. Now, as you can see uh, in the above example, the scaling of the map is different. So for that, what we have to do is uh, first select the object. Then in the command panel, we have this modify tab. In the modifier list, we have to select map scalar modifier so press m to search the map scalar and when you press three times the map scalar will appear now as you can see after applying the map scalar it looks as if the map is a little bit disturbed but this can be fixed using these parameters which are available with the map scale OSM modifier so the modifier we get these parameters first one is the scale so let's reduce the scale and see what happens to this object so I'm reducing the scale as you can see the scale is changing when you change the value here in the scale the scale of the map is going to change over the object so inside this you have one option that is the U offset and the V offset. Uh, the U offset is to shift the map horizontally. Like this you can shift to adjust the map over the object. And similarly, the V offset can be used to shift the map vertically so that it can be adjusted over the object. Now this you've got an option that is wrap texture. Now the wrap texture is on by default. So this wrap texture allows the map to evenly wrap the object. Now in this we've got an option that is channel. Now when I put on the material editor, in this you'll notice that this map has got a map channel 1. So if I change the channel from here, let's make it 2. So in that case, you'll notice that the map disappears here because the value whatever is there in the material editor the same value you have to type here in the channel these two values should be identical so let's change two and now you can see the map is visible now let's go back and change it to one and here also we'll have to change it to one so that we get the effect on this modifier then the third one select the object now let's convert this into a editable poly and we'll select a polygon and then apply the map scale modifier so map scalar modifier appears and now here we can scale it and as you can see the selected polygon has a scaled map whereas the other side is having the default scale So that is how we can use the map scalar modifier to scale the map in 3D Studio Max.